would you want a six or seven string violin? Well, if you play the violin and you need cello, guitar, or even bass range in that instrument, octave pedals may be great, but if you need a seamless transition, if I need to be able to play high notes and low notes, sort of without kicking pedals or doing any of that stuff, you may need a six or a seven string instrument. Sometimes the five string, which we talked about a couple weeks ago, is a, is a really nice instrument that expands the range of the traditional four string violin. Maybe that just doesn't get you low enough, okay? So what are the extra strings? Well, just like the five string, we go down in fifths. We start E, A, D, G, and then we go down to a C string when we go to five. The six string adds an F, and then the seven string, B flat. They do make an eight string uh, that has a low E flat. We just keep following the circle of fifths. Um, John Jordan made a nine string one time, added one on the high end. Uh, it did not add a high B going up in the circle of fifths just because there's not a, a string that's made that could, could handle that. It actually had a high A, so it was up a fourth. Um, but in general, we just keep going down. At the moment, we have instruments, six and seven strings, from wood violins and from Jordan. We have them with both Barbera and Starfish pickups. They're a little different from each other, but they're both good. There is a video on our uh, YouTube page that you can find that compares the Starfish to the Barbera. Um, who makes strings for these things? Um, Sensacore makes the F, B flat, and E flat strings. Um, it's not uncommon for players to split sets if they want another set for E through G or E through C, and then put the Sensacore F, B flat, E flat, whatever, uh, down below, okay? Uh, as far as bows, people have asked, um, you know, how do I move these big heavy strings? Because they're massive. You know, let's look at how big these strings are. These strings are huge. You know, here's my E string over here. Here's a low B flat. That thing is huge. It's a very large string. How do we move that? Uh, there's a number of ways, but the one that we like the best uh, here is the Coda Bow Jewel. This bow has been specifically designed for extended range strings. Uh, the design of the frog you can see is a little bit different on this, uh, on this bow. Um, and it allows us to put a wider shank of hair in there so we've got a little more pulling. Um, it works just fine on your high strings. People have asked about viola bows. The problem with a viola bow is that you lose the, the nimbleness and the control that you want on your high strings. Um, so what Codabo wanted to do was to design a bow that can handle the, the high strings and can do all the, uh, the stuff you want to do up there, but can also move those big heavy F and B flat strings down below. So uh, we like the Codabo Jewel. Many six and seven string players are improvisers and writers. People ask, you know, what kind of uh, what kind of music would I play on a six or seven string? Well, most six and seven strings, or a lot of six and seven string players, are improvisers, or we're writing our own stuff. Okay, so that's why we want that extended range. If you're not a composer, if you're not a writer, you're not an improviser. You may say, well, you know, why do I need this? There is a very rapidly growing um, bed of literature for six and seven string instruments. It's written mostly in split clefs, so it'll be, um, you, you'll have treble clef, and then you might go to either alto or bass clef uh, for the lower notes. So uh, yes, that there is literature out there that you can, uh, that you can find. Um, also, uh, a thought that came from David Wallace, who's the head of the string program at Berkeley. He said, don't think of this as a four string instrument with a couple extra strings bolted on. Um, Think of this as its own unique, legitimate, separate, and new instrument. Uh, and I say new, I talked to Mark Wood for a while yesterday, and he remembered making his first seven string electric violin back in the 1980s. So it's new like compared to the violin that's been around since the 1600s, but it's not new like this thing just fell out of the sky last week. Uh, these six and seven and even eight string violins have been around for, you know, pushing 40 years at this point. Um, so it's not like a super new thing. Yeah, so let's talk about some of the artists that you might find that play six and seven string violins. Val Vagoda is a, is a Broadway star who plays on a six string violin. Mark Wood, we just mentioned, uh, plays a seven string violin. Tracy Silverman, who is at Belmont University, um, plays six string. 
David Wallace at, uh, at Berkeley plays a six string. Uh, Jesus Florido, who uh, has played with the guys from Led Zeppelin, and he's a, he's a huge name in his own right, plays a seven string. Earl Manian is a heavy metal guy, plays a seven string. So uh, yeah, lots lots of extended range players out there. Check them out on our website, electricviolinshop.com.